There we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's all right. Welcome. Hey, um, uh, thank you very much for agreeing to come on and talk with us uh, about your work in the Student Art Show. Mm -hmm. um, and for everybody here that's watching, uh, your name is? Lucas Mosh. Hello there, Lucas. And uh, so the artwork that you're talking about uh, is which one for the uh, Student Art Show? Um, this is going to be the Denied Expectations, uh, Four Parts of a Whole. Marvelous. Um, can you tell us um, uh, what class did you create the artwork in? Um, well, this was taken over the last winter break, um, but I developed it and worked on it during the uh, uh, portfolio development class I'm currently in, the photographic portfolio development. Oh, marvelous. And that's with who? Uh, Christopher Marker. Oh, marvelous. Okay. Um, so uh, tell us about the work. What was the goal of the project? Um, well, like with most of my work, I didn't really set out with anything in mind, you know, um, I just kind of take photos by walking around and seeing what I find. And so this was on a hike and I found a sinkhole um, and I took photos of it. Um, you know, uh, I don't really like to edit my photos that much. I don't like the heavy editing that goes into a lot of photography nowadays because I really see photography as capturing a moment in time. And so I think heavily editing it and changing it is kind of not keeping that moment in time. You know, it's, it's not that it doesn't have its merits, but I don't see it as the photography that I uh, look for. And so I do look for ways to kind of edit things without changing the context. And one of those ways is by um, taking several frames and then collaging them together to get a panorama or a larger area of the scene. And so for this one, since I couldn't really take just one photo that captured the whole sinkhole, um, I took several um, of all the different parts of it. And then when I was editing them, I put them all together into a single shot. Interesting. It has a real much a kind of a fractured wide panoramic feel to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very nice. Fantastic. So um, of all the works in the show, I know you have two pieces in the show. Um, how is it you ended up with this particular piece, this abstract piece, to enter in? Um, so, yeah, when I, once I was going through and editing everything and looking at it, um, you know, something that I really like, especially in modern and postmodern art, is kind of the artist messing with the audience. Um, and something that you see a lot is uh, subverting, or that you hear a lot about, especially nowadays, is subverting expectations, um, which is something that I... I, I understand and I appreciate, but I feel a lot of the time is used kind of as an excuse for something that people are disappointed with. <laughs> um, and so something that I find is really funny is to specifically deny expectations. Ooh. And so most people, if you're talking about a big hole or a pit or something, the first thing they think about and want to see is the bottom. And so I didn't include the bottom. Um, <laughs> So I think that's something that I, I, you know, again, I don't like to plan out when I'm going out and taking photos, but it's definitely something that I'd like to explore more. Um, you know, abstraction photography is hard since it's kind of a uh, document of the real world. And so, you know, finding a way to kind of present it in a way that's different is, is a challenge in this format. And so I do like playing with that and playing with those concepts that I was talking about. Marvelous. That's some great insight there. Thank you very much for that. Um, so as to wrap up, is there anything else that you'd like to tell us about uh, your work, uh, your methodology, uh, about the class you've been taking, um, or just about uh, photography in general? Um, yeah, the class I've been taking, I do like the how the portfolio class is structured in that it kind of allows you to you know, try stuff you weren't trying before, develop more on ideas you've been working on, um, stuff like that. Um, I talked a lot about some of my other methodology in regards to creating photography in the other video we did for my Fencers piece. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I think, you know, when, when actually I'm going out and creating, I don't really like to um, go out with a goal in mind, you know, because it, it tends to limit what you're looking for and looking at. Um, and a lot of the time it's just best to kind of gather everything you can and then, at least in my, in my case, and then gather, um, and put together meaning from it, you know, in the post-processing later. 
Great. Marvelous. That's great. some great insight. Thank you very much for that. Mm -hmm. um, so um, thank you very much, Lucas. I appreciate uh, you spending some time with us here today um, and giving us some insight into your process and uh, the artwork that you've entered into the Student Art Show. So um, we'll see you in the gallery. Thank you very much. And we'll see you and hope to look forward to seeing more of your work. All right. Great. Have a great day. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye now.